What is going on, Tarnished and Maidenless? I got another guide for you, and in this one, we're gonna be talking about all nine locations for the death routes, as well as the rewards for Garonk's quest line. So here's all the rewards, and what I'm gonna do is, as soon as I get a death route, I'm just gonna go to the next location, and I'm going to turn in all the death routes at the same time. So that's just how I'm gonna do it, it's just easier that way. Also, if you're doing this quest line just for the Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone, you don't need to do any of the death root stuff. All you need to do is meet Gurunk, kill him, and he drops the stone. So, if you just wanted to do that, that's an option. Why wouldst thou call me? Why? Shut up. So the very first location for the death route is at the Summon Water Village. It's in Limgrave. You gotta kill a Tibia Mariner. It's one of those guys that row their boat. They're all purple. Can't miss them. But the first thing we need to do is we need to talk to D, and he is right here on the road just before the village. Death has left its mark once again. Ah, a tarnished are ya? I'm known as D. What I find funny is that D says, I hunt those who live in death, and literally right behind him is a freaking Grim Reaper looking skeleton that's all death-like. And he's just standing still, and I am using him as a meat shield because I think it's funny. I'm sure most of you have fought this boss, but for those who haven't, a Tibia Mariner He's got some moves where he sprays water at you. He summons skeletons. My character is brand new and I killed him no problem. And then that's how you get your first death route. And if you notice, D switched locations and now he's right here. So now you talk to him and then he's going to introduce you to Garonk the Beast Clergyman. Strength of beasts. If you're inclined to hunt more of those who live in death and weed their death route, then I'll introduce you to Garank, the beast clergyman. So D is going to mark the location of a transporter on your map. It's going to be right next to the Third Church of America. And that'll take you all the way to the northern part of Kaelid, which is right next to the Bestial Sanctum. And then that's where you'll find Garank. Also, side note, if you've already traveled beyond Limgrave, D will move locations. If you missed his first two locations, you could just find him sitting at the round table. I hunt down those who live in death and weed their death route. So make your way to the Third Church America. The transporter is going to be behind the church. I love this transporter spot, honestly. You don't even need to talk to D. If you made a brand new character, you could just use this. And I always use this to get to the Bloodhound Step. You could also use it to go directly to the Church of Plague to find Millicent. Anyways, go into the Bestial Sanctum and then talk to Gurong and give him the death route. I smell it. Death. I shall grant thee. I and Claw feed me more. The second death route is going to be at the Death Touch Catacombs. It's in Limgrave, kind of in the northern part. You got to defeat a boss called the Black Knife Assassin in the dungeon. For those of you who have played the first Dark Souls, this place is going to give you PTSD because it's literally got the same enemies as the Tomb of Giants. You've got the Skelly Boys who do the rolling. You know, you got the archers as well. It's just really annoying. I wanted to get out of here as soon as possible. Once you've hit that lever, make your way back to the entrance, and then you'll see the boss door. Once you go inside, we're gonna fight the Black Knife Assassin. You may get lucky and have his health bugged. I don't know why it's almost at half health, but it's just gonna make the kill easier. I find that most bugs in this game are usually good and work towards the player's advantage, so I'll take it. You'll start to notice a trend in this quest line. It's either you kill a Tibia Mariner and get the death route, or you go in a dungeon, kill a boss, and then you loot the chest. And then that's where you'll find the death route. 
The third death route location is going to be northeast of Lernia Lakes in the Black Knife Catacombs. You're going to see a bear. You're going to see a bigger bear. And then there's going to be a guy that can turn invisible. So I suggest you just run past all that and then use the door animation to save yourself from getting hit in the back. And it just makes life easier. You remember that item that Geront gave you, the beast eye? Well, you could see whenever you get to an area that has a death root, it'll say it'll quiver. And that's how you kind of know that you're near a death root. So right here, where you get to these blades that drop down, you want to stand on the middle one and it'll lift you up to a ledge. You just keep running. And then, yeah, right there behind that archer, we are going to go. But first, there's a boss here that you could fight. It's optional, but... You might as well just kill him. It's a Black Knife Assassin. You get the Cerulean Assassin Dagger, which is a talisman. So yeah, go back to where the skeleton was, the archer, and then we're going to drop down. Hit the lever, and then right here you hit another lever. And then just run past this crab and go up the ladders. If not, you're going to get stun locked and then you're going to have to fight him and it's just the whole thing. So you might as well just run past it. The cemetery shade can be pretty tough at a low level. He's got two melee skelly boys and then he has one archer at a distance. But he's got very low health. So if you were to just focus on the cemetery shade, you could just kill him really fast. So go to the chest. And now you got yourself your third death route. The next death route is fairly easy to get. It's on the east side of Lernia Lakes. If you go through this path, you can see this cool battle happening. Bro, I'm filming here. So this death route is just south of the Karian Study Hall. You gotta fight this real crazy boss. He's called the Tivia Mariner. This guy is exactly like the previous one. Sometimes he'll venture out to the forest north. So you just follow him there, kill him, and then you've got yourself the fourth death route. Anytime on my guides, there's an area you need to get to, but you need items in order to access it, I'm gonna show you. So we need to get the Dectus pieces. The first one is in Fort Height, on the very top of the fort and it's in the chest. The next one's gonna be in Fort Faroth. There's bats on the bottom floor, but if you just run past them and go up the ladder, they're fairly easy to dodge. And then that's how you get the last Dectus piece. So now you could use the lift to go to the Atlas Plateau. The next death route location is gonna be on the west side of Atlas Plateau. And it's gonna be right next to the Wyndham Ruins. You gotta fight, you guessed it, another Tivia Mariner. Only this guy can summon a big-ass skeleton, which is pretty cool. I wish we had this ability as players. Like, can you imagine just like doing a PvP match and then you summon a big-ass skeleton? That'd be so sick. Kill this guy and then you get the fifth death route. The next death route location is in Gelmir's Hero's Grave. So just go to the north part of Atlas Plateau and then head west. And that'll be like the entrance of Mount Gelmir. And then from here, I'm just gonna kind of speed run to show you where the location is. Now that you're in Gilmir Hero's Grave, or as I like to call it, Hell. Once you get to this point, just keep running. There's going to be a chariot. Avoid all the skellies. You want to go on the right and just fight off these skeletons. They'll usually just die in the fire. And when the chariot comes up and goes back down, that's when you want to move. You're going to see a drop off right here. And what you want to do is you want to aim for the corner. So just roll into it 
You'll either land on the post on the bottom, or you'll land where I did. So just safely make your way down. There'll be a cemetery shade, and also look out for the chariot. So right here, I got very lucky. I think they added him on purpose so he would stun lock you, and you would die to the chariot, but joke's on him because that actually happened to him. As soon as the cherry gets to the very top and starts making his way down, that's when you want to move. It's fairly easy to dodge him. You'll see the ladders to the right. You climb up and you see this door. You might be panicking like, oh, I didn't hit a lever. You could just open it. It doesn't even matter. So that could have been really funny if people saw that door and it's like, oh, I didn't hit the lever without even trying to actually open it. This boss is just like the one in Raya Lucaria Academy. Does the same thing, has the magic swords, is very fast and agile. I feel like all of these red wolves have low health, so as long as you're doing damage, you'll kill them fairly easy. And in the back of the room, you got the chest, so open that, and then you get yourself another death root. Before we go any further, you need to get a piece of the Halig Tree Medallion. One of them you can find south of Lernia Lakes from a guy named Albus. He's in the Albinoric village, and he's disguised as a pot that's glowing. Please no, dear me. You must keep it out of the Cursemonger's hands. This part is optional, but if you want to be able to do Latina's quest line later so you can get a somber stone, I suggest you do it. Go to the Lakeside Crystal Cave and then talk to her. And basically show her that you got the medallion from Alvis. In order to progress any further, you need to beat Marga in the Lendo City capital. And then Melina will give you the rolled medallion so you could use the lift. And then you'll gain access to the mountaintop of giants. So the seventh death route is going to be in the Giant's Mountaintop Catacombs. I'm going to try to explain this dungeon as best I can. It's quite confusing. I still don't understand it, but you're going to go past these imps. You're going to go down the elevator here. Sometimes they chase you, so just be careful with that. You don't want to go down to the elevator below. So you just want to stay on this level. You saw the boss door, pass all these imps, and then you're going to go down this elevator. So you see that statue? The lever is right above it. So we're going to go up these stairs. You'll see your pot friends. Just bloodhound step away from them because they explode. It gets kind of annoying want to keep going so right here you make a left you could see a drop like i said see now we're at the statue and then for some reason when you go over here where the elevator was you can drop down like i'm still confused on this dungeon but that's just the way it works so you stay on this level and now you can go to the lever here once you retrace your steps back to the beginning you want to go through the boss room door, and then you're going to fight an ulcerated tree spirit. This guy actually can be difficult if you have a summon, because he locks on the summon and it just makes it all weird. It's better if you know he's focusing on you and his attacks are fairly easy to dodge. So kill him, loot the chest, and then you got yourself another death root. The next death route location is going to be on the northern part of Mountaintop of Giants. Just going to be south of Castle Soul. And it's going to be from, uh, you guessed it, another Tivia Mariner. You can usually find them right here down below. There are these snails that roll around, so just be careful with that. So kill him, and now you got another death route. In order to access the last death root location, you need to go to Castle Soul and kill Commander Neil. So he summons a bunch of ashes. You got to summon your ashes to even out the playing field and then just 
good luck. He's kind of a tough fight. Hopefully you have enough upgrades on your weapon and you're leveled up and you can kill him. And then make your way to the top of the castle and then you can get the second piece of the Halig Tree secret medallion. Now that you have the second piece, you want to go to the Grand Lift of Rolled, and you'll see the option where you can switch the tab, and it'll say Hoist Secret Medallion, and then that'll take you to the entrance to the Consecrated Snowfield, which is actually called the Hidden Path to the Halig Tree. So the final death route is actually right here in this location, and I kind of slowed this down. So right here, you want to go off to the railing, I actually put that message right there, but you want to aim towards the open door. And there's these invisible walkways you can walk on. So aim towards this door, and then when you look to your left, you'll see another door with an enemy. Just look directly in front of it, and then you could walk forward. And then just drop down to the left. You'll see a window down below. So what you want to do is you want to hop through it. And at the side of the wall right here, you'll see the lever, you grab it. The animation will save you and now make your way to the opposite side of the room and then there you'll find the boss room. For this boss fight, a pro tip is unequip everything you have because it's a mimic tier. So I messed up here and he is essentially as powerful as me. He's got two colossal weapons, he's got Wave of Darkness, so I kind of screwed up, but hey, you know, let's make it a fun fight, why not? Damn, I guess I'm actually weak. Kill the Mimic tier, and then you've got another chest, open it, and now you've got yourself the last death route. Now that we have all nine death routes, go back to the Bestial Sanctum, talk to Guronk. Once he gets four death routes, he's gonna become agitated, and then you're gonna need to rest at the nearest gray site, so that way you can fight him. Once you've done enough damage, he's gonna start whining. This is like the perfect opportunity to take some like sweet selfies with him. So yeah, I would suggest you do that. Then rest and talk to him. And you, if you gave him like a bunch of death roots, you'll get the remaining rewards. It's kind of like you give him four death roots and then he stops giving you rewards until you rest and fight him. And then he'll give you the remaining rewards. It is. It is all consumed. Still, I am not sated. Not nearly sated. But I have done all I can in this land. Henceforth, mine appetite shall be my sole companion. Farewell. Man, that kind of sucks that Gronk got Thanos snap. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more Elden Ring content, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.